Well, let's see what Vere United will come up with this afternoon. Romeo Daniels is between the sticks, a back four of Kay and Henry, Alwyn Strawn and Fitzroy Cummings, and Kemoy Phillips in the middle of the park. Uh, Javier Brown and Lamar Neal, the useful partnership there behind court and right. And up front, uh, Justin Cohen, uh, Jason Dyer, the striker. And over on the right hand side will be Fakibi Ferguson. Interesting call by Linval Dixon to keep Romeo Daniels in goal after last week and uh, made his first Jamaica Premier League start in place of Roger Williams. So it'll be good to see how he can move on. Did say that a lot of players would have a point to prove. In today's fixtures, take a look at the Falkland lineup. Uh, David Swaby between the sticks, a back three of Joel Powell, Kimani Reed, and Tishan Hill in the middle of the park. Romaria Clark, Tevin Thompson, Wayne Gordon, and Enrique Gordon, easily their best player with four goals this season. Ratcliffe Dawkins will be on the left, Fondel Thomas on the right. Shanoi Anderson will play centre forward. Yeah, Falkland. Not a lot to write home about in terms of the action. But Vere United did have the majority of the possession and they did have the majority of the chances as well. Ferguson whipping that one in. There are two players inside the box didn't really commit to get on to the end of that one from Ferguson. And then Falkland, they were just sloppy at the back. An opportunity here that wasn't taken. That looks to have been die with the effort. Yeah, Auckland made a mess of a lot of things there on Cohen. That was the first big chance that he got. The youngster Dustin Cohen dragged that one wide of the mark. But then he would get another bite of the cherry and he finished well. Wonderful stuff. First touch was really good and with a difficult bouncing ball on this surface managed to get control and directed it well past the advancing keeper. And then just before the halftime interval Dawkins with a really good finish there. Lovely ball from deep. And then just a flick with the outside of his right foot outside the box, getting the better of Romeo Daniels. And that was 1 1. The majority of the action came in that first half. For the second half, Coin, the provider on this occasion, but couldn't quite turn that one into a goal. And then an ambitious long-range effort, nothing to write home about. Veer United at 12 shots, 3 on target. Falkland with just a one shot on target being the goal. 13 fouls committed by Veer, 4 more than Falkland. And uh, you see there are 4 corner kicks apiece and the majority of the possession in favour of Veer United. match Dustin Cohen you got on the score sheet today your team couldn't get the win but I'm sure that was a good feeling for you regardless um yes it was a good feeling for me you got the goal it was the second of the season um that finish it was on your left foot your weaker side were you a bit nervous about when you're about to take the shot or it just comes with confidence no I was a bit confident you're fresh off of your under 17 exploits for the national team do you think that experience helped you coming back into the league yeah, it, it um, helped me a lot, but I think I can do better. And you can do better. You have one more game for the season. What are you aiming to see probably next season as you will be a part of this very United outfit still? Um, just want to finish the season. Uh, yeah, next season probably it can be better. All right, thank you. Best of luck for the next season and good, good goal today. All right, thank you. 